Hey, looking up here, we have our trained crundles um, on chains here. And hopefully, um, hopefully we can get them to be even more uh, well-trained soon. Where are they at? Right here. Um, and they are assigned to any trainer, so someone should be dealing with them uh, periodically to make sure they don't revert to their wild state. At least, if everything goes well, that's what will happen. But now, I need to deal with these migrants that we just got and make sure that they all have jobs. Okay, so our dwarf has been possessed. A woodcutter. You can see him right here in the garden up here. Um, he's got the uh, exclamation point flashing. So we will watch where he goes. Um, and he's probably going to go claim a workshop somewhere. There we go. He has claimed a craft workshop. And it looks like he has everything he needs. Um, let's see if he gets to work. And what happened here? Another baby boy has been born. Beautiful. We have over 80 dwarves, and uh-oh, we're being attacked by monkeys. Um, Alright, well, let's come kill them. And, uh, everything. Too much stuff is going on. But, uh, he has begun a mysterious construction. Vutok has. So let's see what he builds, um, while we fend off this monkey attack. And, uh, oh, uh, they're just looking around, um, I don't know if they're actually stealing much, um, because we don't really have much outside for them to steal, I don't think, but it would still be nice to, uh, get them killed before too long. What have we here? A crundle has reverted to its wild state. That's fine. I'm sure it'll be trained uh, at some point, hopefully. Um, and so, let's get back up to the surface now. Okay, so it is raining. There are monkeys everywhere. We are fighting them all. Um, and an elven caravan has arrived. Perfect. Um, so we're going to want to request our broker, and we're going to want to move uh, a lot of goods to the um, to the trade depot. Specifically, lots of gold goblets. All right, we have finished our artifact. Vutak has created Mutherbekar, a tetrahedrite crown. So let's take a look at the details about it. Um, it is a tetrahedrite crown. It is uh, encrusted with round tetrahedrite kabochons and decorated with llama wool. This object is adorned with hanging rings of tetrahedrite and menaces with spikes of tetrahedrite. Well, good then. So we have a tetrahedrite crown, uh, but more importantly, we have merchants and monkeys uh, to deal with up here, although it seems like uh, we have kept them at bay fairly well, and the merchants have arrived and are unloading their goods. Um, hopefully our uh, broker will get here very soon, and hopefully this time we can actually make a trade without insulting anyone. Oh no, this is bad timing, um, but we have an ambush. Uh, it is a goblin ambush, and uh, I'm just going to hope that it's not too big for us to deal with, because our military uh, has been substantially weakened uh, by minotaurs and forgotten beasts, and now these goblins are coming in. Um, it's just altogether, altogether bad timing, um, and they are going to probably mostly shoot uh, our livestock and stuff first, and the things that are outside our fort, 
Um, and we can't even use our siege weapons because merchants are here. Um, that is definitely unfortunate. They are going to kill, they have killed our war dog. And uh oh, what has happened here? Uh, Rakust is uh, just getting pelted with arrows and not actually moving at all. Um, and now he's dead. Um, look at this. Uh, are they going to be able to break down these doors here, I'm guessing? They probably will be. Um, and there's a thief right now, but we, we don't care about that at this point. Um, if they can get through these doors, it's going to be a bad thing that we haven't uh, pulled up the drawbridge, but I don't know if they can or not. So any dwarf that goes out there to... Um, fight them seems to be getting killed. Um, oh boy. Uh, this, this isn't good. Um, we're gonna have to uh, fire at will. Fire at will. Um, and hope that that is good enough. Um, another thief has come. But we, we don't care about thieves right now. Um, oh, what is this? Um, this is a medium-sized humanoid driven to cruelty uh, by its evil nature. Um, it looks like it's a goblin master or something. It's not a normal goblin, um, whatever it is. Um, Alright, what is going on? Are we actually fighting here? Um, are these dwarves going to take out this goblin, hopefully? Hopefully we'll at least have one killed, or have they all just been, like, knocked unconscious? Um, what have we here? A snatcher. I don't care about goblin snatchers. I'm dealing with a entire goblin invasion, and it keeps stopping me to tell me that there's a single thief or snatcher here. Um, now this is, uh, admittedly, something that is not one of my strong points in Dwarf Fortress, dealing with invasions. Um, our military has been uh, substantially weakened. It looks like, though, we have, for the most part, driven them off. Um, oh, and maybe we should stop firing at will. Um, uh, prepare to fire, and prepare to fire, but that's it. Uh, no more no more firing at will uh, into everything. Um, there are no merchants right now, it says, at the trade depot. Hopefully the goblins didn't like kill them all to the point where we're not going to be able to trade. Um, but I, I don't know, are there still goblins around out here, or have they mostly left? We have dead dwarves uh, even across the river fields. We have lost lots and lots of dwarves, um, basically. Uh, it's, it's a very, very not good situation, and our military is uh, pretty susceptible, it would seem, to future invasions now. Um, let's see, though. Well, if these merchants got killed, then that means all of their goods should still be here. Maybe we got actually some sort of luck out of all of this in that they may have killed the merchants and we just get to keep their stuff, if that works uh, the way I think it works. Um, but there is a snatcher. Where is the goblin snatcher? Oh wait, there is one merchant left. Um, it is an elf, um, and I don't think we can actually see much more about the elf. Um, uh, there's just so much blood and death, I, I can't even really process what's going on. Um, that was a goblin master thief doing something. Where is the goblin master thief? I don't know. I just don't know. Um, but yeah, no, they definitely killed uh, the merchants before we were able to do anything. And I'm gonna actually check how many dwarves do we have left. We have 67 citizens. We need a hospital as well. 
which I had set out to be mined out earlier, we need to actually start building it. Uh, so we need beds. Uh, I, I've never uh, gotten far enough to build a hospital before, so, um, or actually rather I was just unaware of how useful they were, so I haven't built them before. But let's, let's try get that done. Uh, let's make some traction benches. I'm not exactly sure what they're used for, but I believe it's for the hospital. So there we go. And, uh, can we make anything? We don't have anything to make soap, uh, which is unfortunate. But, um, oh, and it looks like it is the end of the spring. It was a very brutal and bloody spring. Um, We've lost lots and lots of dwarves, and our military is in poor shape, so let's just hope that those three attacks uh, were enough, and we're not going to have to deal with any more for a little while. But uh, yeah, things have, things have gone a bit downhill.